Alright, so I knew everybody got the Damon X Machina demo, right? Well, I did, and the question is, is this a must-buy? Welcome to 10 5 Plays, and the answer might shock you. The answer is no. Alright, right from the start, I will say the game does look better than the first demo, you know, which is to be expected. You know, a lot of things improved, the combat improved, but I still don't see myself spending $60 on this game. Granted, the demo wasn't that long, so you never know what the full game holds. And that's the thing. I didn't end the demo like, man, I want to play more. I was like, all right. And then I put on Astral Chain, you know what I'm saying? Like, compared to a game like Astral Chain, if that had a demo that played like the first 30 minutes of the game, I would have been hooked. Take this money. But nothing about this game really hooked me. Like, it was fun, sure, but not really $60 fun. You know, I feel like they should have taken more advantage of the platforms Nintendo gave them and really showed us why we want to believe this game will be amazing after this demo ended. And I know they don't want to give the whole thing away, but still, I really want this game because it's a Switch exclusive, but meh just doesn't seem worth it. The enemies aren't really engaging, judging from the demo. The other characters are just kind of weird. Make sure you change that, you know what I'm saying? The text dialogue, it got old fast, and I, di I did really like the customization options for your mech, and I felt like those changes did affect the game. But I was surprised when my mech went around and I, I went down and I hopped out and I served smoke to anyone that was around on foot. You know, stuff like that made me want to see what other surprises are in store when a full game is released. I do love that they added motion controls. You know, that was my main complaint during the first demo. It really does make aiming not only more accurate, but more engaging too. Look, I don't want to sound harsh about this game because it does look good. It just doesn't look like a must buy as far as I'm concerned right now. And I'm eager to hear your opinion when the game comes out because I think it can score like a 6.5 to the 7.5 range on sites like IGN, which definitely isn't bad. You know, with the Switch having so many crazy games coming out that look quality, I think um, I'm probably going to wait a bit on this one. You know, unless word of mouth is anything like Astral Chain in which I'll get it immediately. But, you know, I'm chilling right now. I wish this game nothing but the best and hopefully it's all quality and all love by the time it comes out. You know what I'm saying? Because I want it to succeed and I want it to be good. I hope it's good. If it's not, it is what it is, but that was just my two cents. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, y'all. Time for me to hit that old dusty trail. So, thank y'all for watching, and I'm going to catch you later. Uno. Stop us, you gotta go all out.